Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to Anirban's World of Digital Finance, powered by S. Farhana. And today is our 27th video where we are going to discuss about the default account assignment for cost center and profit center. All right. So, with that, uh, let's start sharing us my screen. I hope you can see my screen. And yes, this is our uh, very own Excel file, which is uh, consists of ready on our blueprint and notes. So if you see whatever I mentioned before, uh, this is a S4 HANA FICO session, 27th video, default account assignment for cost center and a profit center. And this is the last video of the chapter named controlling area, profit center, cost center, and cost element. So if you uh, refer to my prior videos, I have already covered uh, enterprise structure, chapter name enterprise ch chapter uh, structure, fiscal year variant, posting period variant, uh general ledger accounts and document splitting and then this is the current chapter is controlling area profit center cost center and cost element okay so <clears throat> if you see this is the menu path and this is that yeah, this is a configuration type video and this is the t code and the activity that we are going to do is default account assignment for cost center and the profit center so with that let's start logging into sap All right, so we are in um, SAP Easy Access screen and we have to go to SPRO, SP Reference IMG. We will have to go to Controlling and then uh, Cost Central like Accounting, and then we will have to go to Actual Posting and then Manual Posting and Manage Default Account Assignment. So here we are, and then we have to click on new entries, and we have to select our company code, which is HKNM. And then the cost element. Uh, let's see what are the cost elements uh, we have. So we have to first mention the chart of accounts, which is uh, SMBA. Uh, SMBA stands for Simba, and yes, Simba uh, is the character name of Lion King, one of, one of my favorite movies. And I hit enter, and I will first take audit expense. Now, the cost center, if you remember that we have also, so the company code, first let's mention the company code. The company code would be uh, HKNM and the controlling area is CAR. And we hit enter. And uh, yeah, so this is, I believe, is the audit. So this is audit as well, right? This is the audit expense. Chart of accounts is, um, chart of accounts is, yeah. So this is audit expense. If I go to my blueprint, so this is uh, audit expense account, right? And this is also audit cost center, right? Now, if you remember, uh, while we are actually configuring the master data of the cost center, then a profit corresponding profit center is also assigned to it, which is also audit uh, profit center related to audit. If I mention any other profit center here, then this will override the settings which have, we have done in the master uh, the master data, which I am not going to do as of now. But you have the option of overriding the master data settings by mentioning a profit center here, right? Accounting. This is further, uh, you know, like uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, you can lock your data by mentioning there are three variables here uh, pertaining to the valuation area, business area, and profit center. So if you select one, and then if you go here, uh, if you select this this row, if you select this row, I hope. And then you go to the new entry, you can further, you know, uh, restrict these these uh, these uh, values, cost center and the business area. If you go back and if you select, if you, you can also restrict the value for the profit center as well. And you select this and you go here, you can further restrict your profit center and cost center, which I'm not going to do during this exercise. But if that is the business requirement, you can always 
restrict these uh, fields all right so again i'm going to complete for the rest uh, so i have uh, done 3000 for audit i will now take chart of accounts is smba and then i'll take uh, erp implementation i will take corresponding erp implementation cost center this is erp implementation cost center and this i don't to give anything as of now uh, again hknm okay hknm and we have taken or did we have taken uh, erp implementation i'm sorry so we have to restrict our channel of accounts otherwise we will get something like this So we have to restrict our chart of accounts to Simba. And then uh, we have to take management consultancy and map the cost center of corresponding to management consultancy. Again, go back. And now we are going to take um, chart of accounts is, um, chart of accounts is SMBA tool implementation and take the cost center of tool implementation go back again select hknm and then we take uh, the cost element so again you have to mention smba and sorry s uh, what was the chart of accounts sm SIMB, right? SIMB, I believe. I think it's SM chart of accounts. And this is the beauty of Blueprint. If you mention, if you tend to forget it, uh, which I often do, uh, then you can always refer back to your Blueprints. It's SMBA, Simba. So it's SMBA. And then you take uh, you take uh, so we have done four, and the last one is tax consulting. And then you have to take the corresponding cost center for tax consulting. <clears throat> so this is tax consulting. Okay, and then you save. And then you you. You can select this. This is what basically we are doing default account assignment for cost center. Uh, and instead of DCBA1, you write LNKG1. All right, so with that, you, you are mapping uh, the cost element, uh, map mapping a default cost center to a cost element. So I hope you you like I hope you like the video and if you like the video please click on the like icon and share it with all your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel thank you guys